this is basically windows for beginners for the people who are new to using windows this video is for you this is windows for the beginners so this will be basically your interface when you get a new windows pc the interface will change depending on the version of windows that you have but most of the things will remain the same how you use the windows how you get things done will basically be the same this is windows for beginners windows comes with a pre-installed internet browser that is windows edge you can use this browser or you can install a new browser for this pc i've installed google chrome basically like working with google chrome but you can as well use microsoft edge you just need to click on the microsoft edge that is the left click when it opens you just have to search that is basically the internet browser that comes pre-installed with windows so another thing windows as well comes with a player i've just installed the vs player but windows comes with a pre-installed player but i do not like the player so you just need to come over to your favorite daily browser and download vlc you need to use vlc vlc basically has more features than the player that comes pre-installed with windows so if you're going to be playing a lot of videos it's best you install vlc vlc is a very good player it gives you options you can download you can record you can take pictures of the video that you are watching that's basically it you just need to download and install vlc if you need install a different the different software in this computer windows is very easy you just need to go where your your setup is after downloading it let me see I have a setup of windows and I, I can show you I have a set of VOC and I can show you how to install mm -hmm. I have my VOC the file of VOC here I'm going to basically show you how to install on a Windows PC. On a Windows PC, it's not very hard like it's in Linux. You just have to double click. You just have to double click the software that you want to install. It will depend on the speed of your PC. My PC is a bit slow, but we will work with that. So it gives you a pop up. Welcome to VLC Media Setup. Each and every software will give you a pop up like this. Basically, all of, most of the software in Windows, when you want to install something in Windows, you just have to double click it and it will give you a pop up like this that you can use to install you just have to read through and say what it needs it needs to say but on here we click next add or remove one or uninstall windows we it's bringing this because we have vlc already installed on our pc i will this add click next click next and it will install i'm going to cancel this 
because I already have VLC installed on this PC. Most of the installations on Windows, they will be that simple. You just have to double click it to give you a pop up. Do the flu, click next. And that is basically how we install programs on our Windows PC. Creating new folders on our Windows PC, we just have to right click, go to new. We have a lot of programs here. You can use this shortcut to create folders on your PC, to create text documents, to create Python documents, to create Office, Excel documents, all the things. If you have MS Office pre-installed on your Windows, there are some Windows versions that come with Office pre-installed, but if you don't have Office pre-installed, you can as well install Office. So to create a new folder, to create a new Word document, just come, just need to come over to, to new and select what you want to create. Backspace and name the folder as you want it. That is basically it about creating a new document. On this other thing, we also have the view. We have the sort. You can sort items depending on the name, the size, the item, and I did modify it. This one's here on the desktop. And then we have the view. You can make the icons large. With this view, you can make them medium. You can make them small, depending on your preferences. You can arrange, even arrange items to create auto arrange icons like this. Now they are auto arranged. So it basically shows what you want. You can as well remove the icons. We don't show. Now I've removed the icons. I just need to click this to show desktop icons. I've removed the show desktop icons. If you need to refresh, like I'm refreshing, you just need to go down here and refresh. To undo something, it's a control Z. And then here, you can show items. I've talked already about the new, the up mode, the light mode, and the dark mode. Mm. You see the dark mode. I change it to the dark mode. I'll select the light mode. Like the light mode more. You can go to display settings and change your display. This is basically your display settings. You get to choose the night light settings, the scale, the scale and layout of your PC, the display resolution, the display orientation. If you need to change to landscape, you can change to landscape. So these are basically your display settings. You can go over to advanced display settings and change the different things if you want to. This will help you when you need to change your displays or you need to put on a, di a different display on your PC. So that is basically about the display settings. So we'll move over to the restart file folder and create a restart file folder. You can change the Windows mode. If you want it in dark mode or you want it in light mode. The control panel has basically all the settings of your PC. You can uninstall programs from the control panel. You can go over to the system settings. You can create account. You can view device and printers. You can view the network settings. You can change your time, date, then the number of formats, and then the quick access. Let's first go over to uninstall programs. You may need to uninstall some programs from your PC. 
if you need to uninstall those programs you just come over to the control panel and go to uninstall programs to uninstall a program you just need to left click on the program let all my programs load just left click on the program and click uninstall or change that's where you can uninstall programs from your pc you may need to go to system and security and it gives you the different options about systems and security we need to change account you just need to go here and change the account on your pc so the, basically this is the taskbar it has the different items down here this is the microphone that i'm using this is basically the battery where it shows the battery these are the internet connections this is where you increase your volume from if you want to increase or decrease the volume this is the debt these are the notifications that we have if you want to search something from the pc you can come over here to the search bar and you search from there and these are the different widgets we have on the pc i've talked about the internet browser that comes pre-installed with python and we then you have the microsoft store if you have a different program that you want to install you can come over and search it from the microsoft store it has very many different programs you just need to create an account and you will be able to access all the programs you can come over to this pc and we have our different hard disks listed you can as well change the view we have our document listed here our downloads we want to go over to our downloads these are the different hard disks or the different partitions of hard disk we have on this pc i've already told you how to create partitions if in any case you want to create partitions in your pc If you want to create partitions in your PC, I have already a video on this channel on how to create the partitions on your PC. You can change the view of your PC. If you want large ones, you can come over here and change. But I like the tile format more. You can access your download your desktop from here access files from your desktop the documents the downloads that you have on your pc the different music and the videos that is also there if you want to network you can come over here and add a network location if you want to network your pc connect to your media server open settings windows is very easy to use if you know some of those basics then you already know how to use windows settings you can change the device settings the bluetooth and the printers connected in your pc you can connect to your android or iphone you can change the network and the internet 
the personalizations how to change the background the background of your pc this this background you just need to click on that background look screen and colors the apps the accounts the time the gaming change the background after clicking on the other background thing you just need to come over here and choose a different background it will automatically change change a different background you see your background really changes easily you can change the colors you can change the lock screen you can actually change the font of your entire windows from this font so that is basically about windows for beginners like subscribe for more content like this this is in Kajetek.